Hey, remember these buckets? They appeared in two previous episodes. Stay tuned, I'm going to talk to you about an update on this. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, as I introduced at the beginning of this video, these two buckets, for those of you who haven't seen those episodes yet, I have uh, this episode right here that talked about uh, how, you know, what to do with buckets full of sand. So check this out. When you're given a bunch of citrus fruit and you just can't eat it all in one setting or over a few days, Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how the pioneers used to preserve these for long-term storage. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. And we are in the back porch doing some preservation of citrus fruits. Now these are tangerines. We were given a big bag of tangerines. And uh, this it will, uh, this what I'm, method I'm gonna show you will be suitable for all citrus fruits, uh, like oranges and lemons as well. So let's go over here to the deck and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, what we're starting off with is our citrus fruit, a 50 pound bag of playground sand I purchased for $4.20 at the local big box hardware store and a bucket from the same store that cost about $2.97. So with uh, that said, let's get started and we'll just go ahead and preserve this. It's really simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a layer of sand at the bottom of this pail and I'll lay in a layer of, of this fruit. We'll keep enough space between the fruit and the sidewalls of this plastic bucket. Now, that doesn't have to be a food grade plastic bucket. For this case, it doesn't matter. The pioneers used to use any kind of container such as a, 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 a wooden box uh, and then they just fill it with river sand. So, for the sake of urbanites, we're going to use me, um, the method and products we uh, can purchase from the big box store. So we lay in another layer of sand. We get this uh, layered up until we finish um, storing all of my citrus fruit. Once it's all stored in the bucket, we'll lay, lay in a layer of sand. It'll protect the fruit from dehydrating. It'll also protect it from parasites and other um, pests that might get in and compromise the fruit. This is good for long-term storage. We're going to go ahead and store this in a cool place through the winter months and we can glean from that throughout the winter so we can get uh, sources of our vitamin C and have fresh fruits. Well that concludes this episode on storing citrus fruit in buckets full of sand, moist sand. And uh, so stay tuned for more videos as I get a chance to upload them and create. Uh, now in this episode I show you uh, six months later on what the fruit looks like that I was able to preserve with this method. So check that video out. Not much going on the homestead right now as far as gardening goes, but remember those citrus fruits I preserved at the end of last October. Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about those. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Yep, there's not much going on the homestead right now. We're going towards the middle of February 2018. And as far as gardening goes, it's just way too early. 
But last October, towards the end of October, we talked about how I preserved some citrus fruits. And there's other ways of preserving other fruits long term. I learned from my grandfather's memoir. So you guys can check out those videos and see how I did that. So today, four months later, I'm going to dig into this bucket and grab another uh, citrus fruit. And I'm going to share with you guys how well it preserved in sand, just regular dry sand for four months because this is the way the pioneers used to do it, just to rear sand or hay or straw, whatever. So let's give this a test. Oh, there it is. Well, it smells like an orange. It looks like an orange. Uh, let's cut it open and taste it and see if it tastes like an orange. I'm gonna be a guy and just wipe the skin off right here on my shirt. And then I'm gonna slice it. Ooh, did not dry out in the least. Look at that. A little brown in the middle. After four months of sitting in a cool place, what would you expect? So, the taste test. Same texture, same flavor. Nothing diminished that I could tell. So there you have it. At least a four month storage and primarily you want to do this through the winter months so you still have a ready supply of uh, citrus fruits and other vegetables. Most all your root cups you can store like this and to keep it in a dry cool dark place and they will be able to sustain you and your family throughout the winter months. So hopefully this will continue lasting us through probably May, maybe into June. We'll give another test in June if I have any left and we'll see how it goes from there. Now this is one year later and uh, as I reach into the bucket and find out what, it, what the product looks like, I used this as an experiment. I left some of them in here. One bucket had lemons. The other one had oranges and what we have left after one year is that I left a couple of oranges and a couple of lemons. This would be lemons. So they basically composted after about a year. So I wouldn't suggest using this method for anything longer than about six months at the longest. <laughs> So I'm your host, Jerry Hansen at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for joining me on this uh, canning series and preserving citrus fruits. Stay tuned for more videos. You can do that by subscribing, giving a thumbs up, leaving a comment. You can also follow us on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, and Blogger. Don't count us. Don't count on us continuing on Google Plus because I heard a rumor Google is actually <coughs> getting rid of Google Plus. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you guys in more videos. Thank mm -hmm. you.